All right, good day, yogis. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Simha Yoga Lab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment. My handle is Simha Yoga Lab. And the four-digit ID code, if you're prompted for it, is 8096. Um, classes are $10, and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook, and the videos are then uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. Um, today's class is um, Open Flow. It is a level one, level two, and for those of you who have tighter hips or tight lower back, please elevate, sit up on a block. You may sit up on a blanket or a towel, Elevation usually makes it a lot easier for you to sit up tall and comfortably. And for those of you who are uh, new to my practice, welcome. If you're working with any kind of injuries, special conditions, or limitations, please be mindful. If I'm uh, working a little bit out of your range, please pull back a little bit and uh, modify as you need or skip poses altogether that don't feel right for you. It's really important for you to make some good choices especially if you're working with any kind of uh, special condition. Okay, so please be mindful about that. All right, sitting up tall, palms face up, and the fingers come together and move around from an index from this touch chain. Allow the lips to gently touch and regulating your breath by breathing only through your nose. And let the inhales even out with your exhale. Three arms together, inhale. Um, um, The eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing the thumbs into your heart, heart back into the thumb, lifting the heart up towards the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart. Mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga. Call and response. Om Mapavitraha, Om Mapavitraha, Pavitrava, Pavitrava, Sarva Vrishtan, Sarva Vrishtan, Kato Piva, Kato Piva, Yaha Smari, Yaha Smari, Pundrikaksham, Pundrikaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Pihyandraha, Pihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, palms face up, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. And chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction. Ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll it center. A few more rounds at your own pace. And chin back to center and pause. Taking the opposite direction. And then back to center again. Lift the chin parallel to the floor and neutral spine. Coming off your blocks and extend the legs forward, separating the feet. Hand support to either side and turn your toes to each other. And roll out. Draw in, roll out. Draw in, out of rotation, circling. 
back to center, switch them around in a rotation, and take it back to center again. Cross your shins, opposite shin on. Raise the arms up high and extend. Twist to the right on the exhale. Come back to center, arms up. Exhale, other side. Back to center again, side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Back up again, other side. Center again, legs forward, forward fold. And take back up. Swing the legs back behind you for down dog and pedaling out the legs. And take it back to down dog. Inhale, right heel up, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee in toward the nose and round. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee, outside the right arm and touch. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist, touch left arm. Kick back up, step in, your right foot forward, warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace your fingers. Lift up and gaze upwards for a back bend. Bow forward, devotional warrior, crown of the head towards the inside of the foot. Take it back up to vertical, arms up, right hand to catch your left wrist, extend, side bend to the right. Take it back to center, bend your right elbow again, side bending to the right. Square back center, right hand behind you, and then hook the left arm, outer right knee, and twist. Take it back up and around, warrior two. Reverse, warrior, side angle. Extended side angle, left palm to face down, and extending forward. Half bind, left arm up and behind you, stop. Inhale, take it back up, reverse warrior. And then hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm and touch. Kick back up, knee comes into twist. Kick back up, step in, your left foot forward. Warrior one. Wrapping your hands back behind you. Take the other thumb on top, lift up, gaze upwards, ecstatic warrior, back bending. And then forward fold, devotional warrior. Take it back up. Warrior one, left hand, catch your right wrist, extend, side bending left. <clears throat> back to center, bend your right elbow again, side bend left. Back to center, wrap the left arm back behind you, leaning forward, right elbow outside the left knee to twist. Take it back up and around, warrior two, reverse warrior, side angle. Extended side angle. Half bound side angle. Take it back up, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. In a one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm and touch. 
Kick back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick back up. Step in. Right foot forward. Warrior one. Wrap the right arm underneath. Eagle arm. Lift up. Gaze up. Exhale. Bow forward. Let's kick it up and down. Two more times. Inhale. Lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Come back up to vertical. Keep your arms and twist to the right. Back to center. Release your arms. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg. Triangle. Extend a triangle, left palm facing down and reach forward. Half five, left arm up and behind you. Inhale, come up, reverse triangle, bending the front knee, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down, down. Left heel up. Left knee in towards the nose. Kick it up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of left arm in touch. Kick it back up, knee comes into a twist. Kick it back up. Step to the left foot forward. Warrior one. Eagle arms, wrap the left arm underneath and lift up, gaze upwards. And then bow forward. Up and down two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bow forward. Come back up to vertical. Stay with eagle arms and twist left. Square back to center. Release, warrior two. Reverse, warrior. Lengthen out the left leg, triangle. Extend it, triangle. Half bound, triangle. Take back up, reverse triangle. And then bend the front knee, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick it up. Open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside the right arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Take the back up, stepping, right foot forward, warrior one. Bending your right elbow, left hand to right elbow, lean up and back for the back bend. Come back up to vertical. If your shoulders are tight, stay here, hand to elbow. If you are working deeper, wrap the left hand back behind you, seeking for the upper right shoulder blade, and of course, if you can bind, to take Gomukhasana arms. Lift up and lean back. To the best of abilities, bow forward. Come back up to vertical, keep your arms, open it up to shape of warrior two, reverse the warrior. Come back up to vertical. Reconstruction of your joints. Release your binds. Left hand to a fist. Extend the left arm out. De-rotate your fist. Bend your left elbow. Release your left hand. Reach up. Reach your right arm up. Open it up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Lengthen out the right leg. Extended triangle. Then take the right arm. Parallel your left. Lifting. Take it up to vertical. Side bend and forward. Take it up to vertical. Side bend and forward. 
Take it up to vertical. Side bend it forward. Square off your torso, hands to the floor. Relengthen on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Let's revolve it. Left hand stays down, right leg stays extended, and right arm up to twist. Right palm to face down, reach forward. Half bind, right arm up and behind you, twist deeper. Bend the front knee, circle it up and around, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot stepping back. Plank in a one breath, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up. Left knee in, torque pose. Kick it up, open up and expand the left knee. Left knee outside the left arm and touch. Okay, kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Okay, kick it back up. Step the left foot forward. Warrior one. Bend your left elbow, right hand to left elbow. Lean it back for the back bend. Take it back up to vertical, side bending to the right. Come back to center now. Again, if your shoulders are tight and this is where you left it, keep the right hand to left elbow and just repeat the back bend. If you are wrapping your right hand back behind you, seek for the upper left shoulder blade. And of course, if you have the bind, go ahead and take the bind. Wherever you are in this pose, Lift up and lean back. Come up to vertical and then bow forward to the best of your abilities. Okay, this could be intense. Come back up to vertical, keep your arms, take it to the shape of warrior two, and then reverse your warrior. Take it back to vertical. Reconstruction of your joints. Release your binds. Right hand to your fist. Extend the right arm out. De-rotate your fist. Bend your right elbow. Release your right hand. Reach up. Reach your left arm up. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Inhale. Reverse warrior. Exhale. Lengthen out the left leg. And extended triangle. Right palm facing down and reaching forward. Take the left arm to parallel your right, and you can lift your torso up a little bit. Inhale, lift up to vertical. Exhale, side bend forward. Lift up to vertical, side bend forward. Lift up to vertical, side bend forward. Stay there. Square up your torso, hands to the floor. Supporting with your hands, relengthening your spine and your left leg, and then bowing forward. Pyramid. And then revolving it. Right hand stays on the floor, left leg stays extended, left arm up to twist. Left palm facing down and reach forward. Half bind it, left arm up and behind you. Bend the front knee, circle it up, reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank, in a one breath, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, inhale, step the left foot forward, low lunge, right foot forward, stand your forward bend, feet together, knees together, rise up, chair, cactus the arms. Left elbow touching the right knee. Take it back up three times. Left elbow, right knee. Take it back up. Left elbow, right knee. Take it back up. Stay here with your knees bent. Arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Arms in toward each other. Inhale, open. Arms in. Inhale, open. Draw the elbows back. 
palm face up, gaze up. Then wrap the hands back behind you, interlace, and then dive forward, knuckles up and overhead. Release your hands, bend the knees, rise up, chair. Hands together in prayer. Twist to the right, left elbow, outside the right knee, and stay here twisting. Keeping the gaze to the floor. Shift the weight to your right foot. Pick up the left and reach it back for a revolved half moon variation. Start to rise up. Left knee draws in, hand to knee or hand to big toe and extend the left leg out, right arm out and then open up the left leg to the side. Airplane Warrior 3, bend your left knee. With your right hand, grab the inside of the left foot, stand up tall. Extend the left arm out. As you lean the torso forward to Warrior 3 shape, let the left knee, left arm open out to the side like airplane wings. Airplane Warrior 3. Release for seated spinal twist. Left knee behind the right heel and taking your seat down. Right hand behind you, left arm up and twist to the right. Take it back center. Counter twist to your left. Yogi's choice, staying here or Kundiyasana two. Take it back to center, warrior one. Step the right foot down, rise up. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, hands to the floor. Right foot, stepping back, plank, in a one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step the right foot forward, low lunge, left foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together. Pick it up. Chair, cactus your arms. Right elbow, left knee and tap. Take the back up. Right elbow, left knee and tap. Take the back up. Right elbow, left knee and tap. Take the back up, staying here, knees bent. Draw the arms in, inhale. Draw the arms in, inhale open. Draw the arms in. Inhale, open. Elbows in toward each other. Flip the palms up. Gaze up with the back bend. Then wrap the hands back behind you. Interlace. Length and length. Hands to bow forward. So, um, bow forward. Now taking your hands in the non-dominant interlacing of your hands. Release your hands. Bend the knees. Rise up. Chair. Hands together in prayer. Twisting to your left. Hook the right arm, out of left knee, and twist. And take the gaze to floor for balance. Shift the weight to your left foot. Reach your right heel back for revolved half moon variation. Start to stand up. Draw the right knee in. Right hand, right knee, or yoga toe lock, extend. Left arm out to counterbalance and open up the right leg to the right side. Extended hand to big toe. Airplane warrior three, bend your right knee, grab the inside of the right foot with your left hand standing tall. Right arm out to right side as you lean the torso forward to the shape of warrior three. Right arm, right leg, opening out to the right side, become airplane wings. Airplane, warrior three. Start to release a seated spinal twist. Left hand is behind you, right arm up and twist to your left.
back to center. Counter twist to the right, staying here. Four, Kundi Asana two. Back to center, warrior one. Step the left foot forward, right heel back, and come up. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, low lunge. Right foot forward, stand it forward bend. Feet together, knees together, rise up, chair. Shiva Nataraj, dancing Shiva, stepping on the left foot, with your right hand forward. Sweeping the right hand back behind you, grabbing the inside of the foot. Realign, lengthen through the spine, inner thighs together, left arm forward. Once you have the steadiness, then lean forward as you kick back. Stay on the left leg, start to stand up, draw the right knee in. Revolve hand to foot. So, left hand to the right knee and come out of five position, or left hand to outside the right foot, extending forward, right arm back to twist. Square back to center. Step the right foot down, chair. Dive forward, crow. So hands come forward by about a foot and a half from your toes. Hands to shoulders width, fingers wide spread. Middle fingers or index fingers point forward. Stay on the tiptoes, lift the seat a little bit and draw the arms back. Make contact between the knees and the back of the arms. Gaze left and forward, tip forward. And your elbows line up over your wrists. That's where the balance happens. Walking or jumping back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, right leg up, step the right foot forward to outside of the right hand, lizard. Those of you with better hip flexibility, right toes point straight forward, left heel reaching straight back. If you need a little bit of help with the rotation of the right toes out 30 to 45 degrees, it makes it easier for your right hip to Manage this uh, flexibility pose. All right, then walk your hands forward about a foot and lower your forearm. Now, if you have your left knee up, lower the left knee down. Untuck the toes. Press into your hands, lift the elbows up, walk your hands in. If you have your right toes pointing forward, point the right toes out. If you have your right toes out already, you're perfectly set. All right? Then left hand a little bit wider. Raise your right arm up and behind you, half bind to twist. Use the right hand to your lower back to give you resistance to stack your shoulders a little bit more actively as you rotate through the spine. If you are going further, bend your left knee, grab the inside of the foot with the right hand, and kick back. If you have the foot release, raise your right arm over the right ear, right side stretch. Then take the right hand to the floor. Left forearm comes down. And reach your right arm over to the left side. Walk your right hand in. Lift the left elbow up and threading the needle. Right arm underneath the left and lower. 
So as you bend your left elbow, right shoulder, right cheek toward the floor. You may not be able to touch, that's okay. If you're hovering in space, just keep that balance. If you can touch down, use that to help you to balance. Press into your left hand, lift back up, turn the left heel in, and walk your right foot in. All right, so we'll try to balance on this left knee. Taking the arms out, shift to your right tiptoes, and see if you can pick up that right foot and balance. All right, if you can balance, maybe you can work with yoga toe If you can balance, maybe you can work. Let's see. Maybe <laughs> standing balance. Um, sorry, uh, uh, a kneeling compass. All right. So start with your right hand supporting. Right, it's going to be a tricky balance. See. If you can make it work. All right. Step it back. Turn the left toes back. Tuck the back toes and lengthen over your right leg for a squared off pyramid pose. Bend the front knee, palms flat. Stepping your right foot back, plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Stepping your right foot forward, low lunge. Left foot forward, standing forward bend. Feet together, knees together, right up chair. Shiva Nasgaraj, stands in Shiva. Stepping on the right foot, left toe draws back. Left arm reaching forward, and then sweep it back behind you. Grabbing the inside of the foot, inner thigh together, right arm forward, standing tall. Once you have your balance, now you're ready to lean forward as you kick back. Stand back up, draw the left knee forward. Right hand, so opposite hand and knee, or opposite hand and foot. Extend. Left arm reaching back to twist. Square back to center. Bend your left knee. Step the left foot down chair. Exhale, dive forward. Crow pose. Walk or jump back, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left heel up, step the left foot forward, outside the left hand. So this is your lizard, right? So again, if you have more hip flexibility, left toes point straight forward. And then hands walk forward about a foot and lower your arms. Now that's very difficult for your hips, then turn the left toes out and the left thigh turns out about the same angle, 30 to 45 degrees. And with that rotation into your hips, into the left thigh bone, it's a lot easier for you to take your forearms down. And of course, if you're not able to take the forearms down, you can keep the arms extended. Two more breaths. <clears throat> All right, if you have your right knee up, take the right knee to the floor, untuck the toes. Lift the elbows up, walk your hands back in. Now, if your left toes are pointing forward, then go ahead and turn your left toes out at this time and make sure that the left knee, left thigh also turns out about the same. Walk your right hand a little bit wider, raise your left arm up and behind you for the half line to twist. So use your left hand to your lower back to give you resistance to rotate into the spine and stack the shoulders. 
hips are moving straight forward and downward. Now, if you're going further, bend your right knee, grab the inside of the foot with your left hand, and kick back, continue to stack, and deepen the pose. Then release your right foot if you have the bind, and extend the left arm up and overhead, left side stretch. Then start to release your left hand to the floor. Take the right forearm down and extend the left arm out to the right side. So giving yourself a left shoulder, left side stretch here. Walk your left hand back in, lift the right elbow. Then thread the needle, left arm underneath your right. Then as you bend your right elbow, let your left shoulder, left cheek come toward the floor. Press into your right hand, walk the hands back in, lift back up, turn the right heel in, and start to stand up on the right knee. Walk your left foot in just a little bit. All right, so you're going to start to balance in the right knee and right big toe. Arms out to help you account to balance. And see if you can, can pick up your left foot and balance. All right, if this is pretty accessible for you, maybe this can become yoga toe lock and extend out. All right, if you're working further, maybe we can try that um, kneeling compass again. So it's a very tricky balance on that knee. Huh? All right, that's all I have today. <laughs> so uh, rotate back, turn the right toes back to the back of the room, and then lengthen over your left leg into your square pyramid. So when I say squared off, I mean that your back heel is off the floor, shooting straight back in space versus the back heel in and down. And so when your heel is shooting straight back, just like the front leg, your hips are in a squared position. Versus when you draw the heel down at an angle and in, your right hip is drawn back, right? And the left hip is drawn forward because of the positioning of your legs. Then if you square them off, right, if the heels are shooting straight back behind you, your hips are also squared off. Then front knee ground, the palms step, the left foot back plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down, down. Bend the knees, inhale one breath, exhale, walk or jump, your feet forward between your heads. Feet together, knees together. Take it up, chair. Stepping on the left foot, pick up the right knee for tree. So going above or below the knee joint. Hands together in prayer, arms up and out in a wide position. Right. Steadying your balance here. You have many options. You can, of course, stay here in basic tree. You don't need to do any more than that. If you're going further, you can wrap the hands back behind you for the heart opener. You can side bend to the right. In side bending to the right, you can take many options here. Right hand to grab the left wrist, right hand to grab the left elbow and deepen. All those are good options. If you have other options you want to take, half lotus, ankles to knee, right? If you're taking ankles to knee, it could be flying crow. It could be dragonfly to your left. Right? Or you can just work on the preparation, which is a twist. Right tricep to solve the right foot and twist. I'll give you three more breaths. 
to work through the options of your choice. Okay, those of you who are my regular students, you know that any time we're holding a pose is your opportunity to kind of express whatever your creativity for the poses, right? Any transitions you like, any variations you like. All righty, let's start to break. Arms back up, draw the right knee forward. Step the right foot down, chair. Exhale, dive forward. Now, with your hands on the floor, separate your feet just a little bit, and let's take Parahastasana, stepping on the hands with your feet. So the palms are facing up, inserting your hands underneath your feet. Maybe your toes are grazing the wrists. Take it to both sides. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Parahastasana. All righty, beginning to release. Feet back together. Bend the knees, rise up. Chair, stepping on the right foot this time, pick up the left knee. Set up, left foot to inner right thigh, above or below the knee joint. Hands together in prayer, arms up and out. And again, go ahead, staying here if this is your option. Wrapping hands back behind you. If you interlace your hands, take the opposite thumb on top and broaden. If you're going side bending to your left, right, you can take left hand to right wrist. You can take left hand to right elbow and side bend. Right? Half lotuses, any variations within there. I took ankles to knee and then the preparation into flying crow, and that is your twist. You make sure you have to flex your left foot because you're in this figure four position with your legs. Then, left tricep to solve the foot and hands together in prayer to twist. We'll give you another three more breaths or so. The beauty of vinyasa is that you are only limited by your imagination, right? If the movements all connect um, freely, then, you know, as long as you reflect everything on both sides, you're good. All right, taking the arms up, draw the left knee forward, step the left foot down, chair, exhale, dive forward. Again, hand supporting, separating the feet. Um, maybe about two fifths distance. Yogic toe lock this time. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Pull into your big toes to bow forward. Start to release, support with your hands, walk your feet back together. Feet together, knees together, bend the knees, rise up, chair. Exhale, dive forward. Walk back, jump back. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Pigeon, left leg up, left knee in toward the nose. Land that shin to the floor. Point to left toe position, standing on the shin. Left knee, left thigh, angles out, 30 to 45 degrees. Supporting with the hands, into right knee for the back to lower your feet, untuck the toes. Walk your hands back, measure out your balance. If you're doing all this right, you should feel pretty level on the pelvis. You are pretty vertical with your spine, and that will create a good amount of uh, stability and balance for you. And if you have all this, then you're ready to take it forward into your forward fold and pigeon. You can stay on your forearms. You can make pillows with the hands and rest your forehead. Right, take a few breaths here and settle into your hip opening. And after you have a few breaths in, again, those of you who know your variations, you can take them. And 
All right, so those of you working with variations, go ahead. If you want to work with me to take a variation together, go ahead and work with me. Otherwise, you have the freedom to take this um, duration of time to do whatever you like. Okay, so let's walk the hands back in. If you're following me, take the left seat down. Swing the right leg forward and then center your seat. Grab either side of the right foot and extend forward. Now, once you extend the heel forward, right, try to get full extension of your legs. If you cannot do that, you don't have the hamstring flexibility, bending up the knee is fine. You have the option of, of also grabbing your calves, right? So it is important for you to have a firm and solid um, support structure. Then, rather than rounding up the spine, I want you to lift your sternum, lifting the chest. And that will help you straighten out the spine. And then rather than looking forwards and downwards, I want you to lean the head slightly back and look up at an angle. So think the line in which your torso takes and then keep extending that through the neck and the crown of the head. So you want that straight line. And chances are you're looking upwards at an angle about 45 degrees again. All right? You want to support with the hands to the foot, pulling against your foot as you extend the heel out. Right, now tension is what's giving you stability here. Then start to release, stepping your right foot down. Intersect that right heel with your left ankle. I'll give you a front here. Right, intersect that right heel with your left ankle. You'll be shifting the weight a little bit to the outer left leg, outer left hip, and the right seat comes off the floor, and that is perfectly fine. Let's twist. Right hand behind you, wrap the left arm around the right knee. Square back to center, counter twist to your left. Square back to center, forward fold. Left hand stays on the floor, right arm up and fold forward. If you have a bind, wrap the right arm back behind you. If you have the bind, the full bind, left hand behind you. So half bind versus a full bind. Start to release, come back up. Re-extend the right leg all the way back. Come back to your pigeon. Ground the palms, tuck the back toes, and everyone start to make your way back to the down dog and pedal out the legs. All right, second side, right leg up. Right knee in towards the nose, land that shin to the floor. So again, point to right uh, toe position on your shin. Uh, right knee, right thigh, 30 to 45 degrees to the side. Inch left knee for the back, lowering your feet. Walk the hands back, elongate, measure it out. And then take it forward. Again, forearms down or pillows of the hands, resting your forehead. And so again, you have your options. If you work on something on your own, please repeat it on this side. If you stayed in your pigeon and just took a, a passive pigeon, a restful pigeon, stay there. If you're working through the variation with me, take it again. So walking your hands back in, lifting up, kick the right seat down, swing the left leg around, and center your seat. Bend your left knee so that you're walking your left heel, intersects your right ankle. Right, so you're tilting a little bit to the right side. You're sitting on the outer right leg, outer right hip, and the left seat comes off the floor. Okay? All right, let's twist first. Left hand behind you. Wrap the right arm around your left knee and twist. Take back to center. Counter twist to the right. Right. 
Back to center again, you're gonna forward fold. Right hand to size of support, left arm up, and reach forward, and bow. You are either staying here, or take a half back, or a full by, and fold. Begin to release, take it back up, and then re-extend the left leg back. Walk your hands back in, tuck the back toes, and press back as a one for down dog, and pedaling out the legs, walk it out side to side. And draw forward into your plank. Lower the knees down. All right, so you have choices here, sitting down on your shin with your heels together, right? If you're a little bit less flexible in your quads and your knees, then you're just taking like a kneeling position. If you are taking virasana, you're taking the inner thighs and the knees together and the feet go a little bit wider. And then start to draw the feet down. If you have the flexibility to sit all the way down, fantastic, take it. If you don't, you will probably need to elevate and sit up on the block, sit up on your blankets, whatever you need. Now, if you don't have any kind of props, if you need the props, then better to come back to just the simple kneeling position with your feet together, right? And that way, at least you're sitting on your heels, which gives you a little bit of elevation, and you're still getting some quad stretch, right? If you need this, right, with the heels together, you're probably gonna get plenty of quad stretch here, right? So. Otherwise, you are working with the arasana. All right, so you're just going to sit here. Let your ground evenly through your seat. Connect to a lengthy, tall spine. Think about broadening your shoulders, but you're not very actively, right? You're not very tensely drawing back. You're just drawing back a little bit so you have some level of broadness. Want, uh, uh, some level of straightness with your spine, your hands are soft, your shoulders and your elbows are soft. Shin is not neutral. And once you have everything settled in, let your eyes close. And with your mind's eye, start to uh, visualize the sensation of what's going on through your hips your thighs, your knees, your feet. And so this is a very intense knee stretch, possibly. Shin, possible feet, ankles. Take five more breaths here. begin to break. So, start to walk your hands forward and lift the feet. Tuck the toes under and shift the weight back toward your heels. And gently start to lift the knees and lengthen out the legs and take a very short down dog with your hands supporting. All right, so you want to just get some circulation back through the legs. And once you're feeling pretty good and you're ready, then start to walk your feet forward towards the hands and take the seat down. Extend the legs forward with the hands supporting, sliding the hands up, 
to help assist you to lower onto your back. Then keep the left arm out, left knee comes in and twists to the right. Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, and twist to the left. And take it back to center again. Hug both knees in. And then step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, and shove up the mouth by the relaxation. Begin to draw the breath back in. And then start to move the fingers and the toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite direction. And when you're ready, go over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross leg position. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Now from um, hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing in practice. And I'll come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Please visit again my website, somehowyoga.com. For the full streaming schedule, as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. Venmo is my preferred way of payment, and my handle is Simha Yoga Lab. And the four digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for verification. Uh, my cost is $10, and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please do the best you can. I'm streaming on Instagram and on Facebook. And the videos have been uploaded to my YouTube channel, Simha Yoga Lab. Please visit any of those platforms uh, to find your practice. Right? So please also share with your friends, let people know practice is happening, um, and hopefully you enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Be well.